people don't realize that getting uh, into cold, very cold water like we have here in the Northwest um, it can kill you within a minute. Dr. Stephen Morris is an ER doctor at UW Medicine based at Mon Lake and Harborview. This time of year in particular, we see people that are going into the water thinking they just want to swim and cool off and have a nice time and then end up in a really terrifying and life-threatening situation. While there's a recent trend of people taking cold plunges with claims it helps with exercise-related muscle damage and boosts your immune system, Dr. Morris doesn't recommend it for everyone. I think if if you're doing a polar bear plunge and you have one of your friends on each side of you, um, you know, it's a little bit safer. I think it's very, very different from somebody jumping into a cold lake and uh, not knowing what they're getting into. Whether it's voluntary swimming or an accidental fall into the water, cold water shock can result from being in water 50 degrees or colder. How it is right now from all that mountain snow runoff. Just to uh, paraphrase one of the writers from uh, the American Heart Association, um, you're not a polar bear. For humans, the shock can cause involuntary gasps for air, hyperventilation, even cardiac arrest and other heart problems. It increases your heart rate drastically. Um, it increases your blood pressure drastically. And if you have an underlying health problem, that can be enough to cause a stroke, to cause a heart attack. Um, it's caused heart attacks actually in very young people. And finally, panic can set in. So you have an altered mental status. So you're in this dangerous, life-threatening situation, and then all of a sudden you're making poor decisions or you're not able to comprehend what's going on. Morris adds, if you happen to safely pull someone out of the water who's experiencing cold shock, warm them up gently right away. Skin-to-skin -skin contact is a really safe way to rewarm someone. And call 911 immediately as they may still need medical attention. His biggest advice, don't take a dip for now. Enjoy the nice weather um, and uh, do other activities. Um, but I would avoid swimming in any of the cold water that we have right now. For HealthLink, I'm Christine Pei.